wasn't just that. That was the conversation. You know, yeah. Most guys talk about retiring when they're sort of they've hit their peak and they can see they're on their way out. Sometimes, as a fan, you don't see it, yeah. but you see it in the gym and you see the body feels it. And you know, it's like like Tony said, those last four wins lead us to believe, and I believe that he can become the heavyweight champion of the world. If he can beat David Hay, even if he can beat Ilunga Makabu, I believe he can beat Deontay Wilder and he can beat Joseph Parker. So if that's the case, the heavyweight world championship is the, is the richest prize in sport. Even forget the money, it's a legacy win. You know, to become a two-weight world champion, incorporating the heavyweight division is something very, very special. And you know, the journey's been remarkable, and I'm not just saying it because he's here, but it's one of you know, our greatest achievements that really after the Adonis Stevenson loss in Canada, at a weight where he was like a skeleton, sort of everything there was like, how do we just get paid and finish off his career, make sure he can leave the sport with his house paid for and money in the bank. And he just resurrected himself at Cruiserweight. You know, he had to fight with Cleverly, it wasn't the greatest, but he won. You know, then he moved forward, he had the rolling creed, you know, and he sort of took a little bit of foot off the gas, came back, took that Masternak fight, and, and I, you know, we, we talked about the other day about fighters being prepared to take gambles, take fights that if they believe they can win and put them in a position to advance their career. And I cannot tell you how risky that Masternak fight was with such little reward financially. You know, yeah, he got paid well, but in terms of the risk of the fight, it was it was peanuts, really. But he knew. Crossroads fights, crossroads fight, we on the line, and 